ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ತೋ ಮುದ ಮುರಾರಿ ಪರ ಪಂಕಜ ಸ್ಪುರದ ಮಂದರಿ ನಾವು ಇಸ್ ಓಟಮ್ ಸೀಸನ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಶಾರದ್ ಸೀಸನ್ ದೆನ್ ಜಮೂನ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ before she was very very broad and now she becomes quite narrow во время сезона дождей имуна выходит из берегов но к осени её росло начинает сужаться exposing very wide flat sandy banks made of the chintamli jewel dust обнажая белоснежные серебристые берега из песчинок которые похожи на сахарную пудру so in this way jamuna devi is providing the arena for rasalila этим самым ему надо и подготавливать танцевальную площадку для rasalila this dust gives all cities all perfections and fulfills all desires это серебрян этот серебряный песок ему на исполняет все желания and anyone who touches this dust is reminded of the softness of shri krishna's lotus feet и любой кто прикоснётся к этой мягкой пыли тот же вспомнит про мягкие лотосные стопы шри кришны On both sides of the of Jamuna there are beautiful forests full of uh, fruits and birds. На обоих берегах Ямуны растут удивительно красивые леса, в которых много фруктовых деревьев, много всякой живности, птиц. And this place is worshiped by all the demigods and human beings. Этому удивительному месту поклоняются все полубоги и все живые существа. There are seven forests on the Uh, western side of Jamuna. На западном берегу Ямуны расположены 7 лесов. Бриндаван, Мадуван, Салван, Багулован, Камьяван, Кадирван and one more. No, that's on this side. No, that's on this side. Талван, Мадуван Bhavulavan, mm, then uh, Kamyavan, and uh, Kailanvan, and Kadirvan, and Vrindavan is seven. Okay. Then on this side, and on this side, there are five. Five trees. They are Lohavan, Mahavan, Bandirvan, and Badravan, and where we are now, this is called Belvan. На этом восточном берегу расположены пять лесов. Сейчас мы с вами находимся в лесу, который называется Белван. On that side of the river, there's prominence of Sri Krishna's Madhurya Rasa. На том берегу Ямуны правит романтическая любовь, раса романтической любви Шри Кришны. And even though there are some Madhurya pastimes on the side, here is the prominence of uh, Sakya pastimes, Krishna's pastimes with Balaram and the Cowherd Boys. Но на этой стороне, несмотря на то, что Кришна периодически проводит свои романтические встречи, тут все же тут правит Sakya раса, дружеская любовь Кришны. So here is a forest of bale trees or bilva trees. Тут растет лес фруктовых деревьев бел. The bale fruit is round and very good. for digestion and very delicious krishna and his friends they used to bring the cows here then rest and uh, relish the sweet fruits of the bilva tree bel это большие круглые зеленые плоды шкура такая твёрдая если её разломать внутри такая сочная бурая мякоть это очень полезно для пищеварения и кришна с мальчиками часто кушает эти фрукты тут how they used to come from that end to this end the same like you no magic Mm, sometimes when the water is going down they would just could walk across Они переходили или они мальчики или в брод переходили сюда или переплывали But just over here is the place called Bandarvan 
Но вот совсем неподалеку есть место, которое называется Бандерван. And Bandirvat spread. It was a ban it was a, a banyan tree. So the trunk goes up and then the roots come down and then they come out again and then it grows it becomes another tree and goes down. So it was spread for eight miles and the Bandir Vat went right across Jumuna and the boys used to climb across the Bandir tree to get across. А там Бандир Ват росло такое удивительное баняновое дерево. Если вы знаете, как растут баняновые деревья, когда ветка достает до земли, она входит в глубь почвы и становится новым стволом. И так дерево одно может разрастись на целый лес. И вот это дерево разрослось на расстоянии 10 километров, и оно росло по ему. Не мальчики просто карабкались по веткам этого э, бандервата и перебирались на другую сторону. So, Lakshmi Devi, she wanted to go to the Rasalila. Lakshmi Devi очень хотела попасть на танец Rasalilu. So, she came here to perform austerities. И она пришла сюда, в этот лес, чтобы совершать аскезы. And... She's still performing austerities and she still didn't get to the Rasalila. Но по сей день она продолжает совершать аскезы, потому что по сей день ей не удалось попасть на этот танец. Why not? Почему нет? Now we're going to go and ask her. She's doing austerities in the forest here. Мы пойдем и спросим ее саму, потому что она в этом лесу совершает свои пятими до сих пор. Lakshmi Devi ki jai, Belvan Parakama ki jai, Jai in every temple of the world where Lakshmi Devi is present, she is standing and with her hand she's blessing everyone and giving benedictions. This is the only place in the universe where Lakshmi Devi is sitting in the Padmasana doing tapasya and praying with both hands. Oh, please, Krishna be merciful to Why? What is the mystery? Why did we walk through the mud? and the dust and the swamp for two hours. <laughs> to receive some priceless transcendental jewels of the lessons of this divine place. So let's be very tested you. What she is angry with us? Which video has tested you? Ah, which video has tested you? And you have passed because you were here. And you have passed because you were here. Yeah, I, don't I don't know if someone is lying in a field over there somewhere. I'm not sure if we haven't read it yet. Maybe someone fell in the river. But anyway, all of you are here have passed. Or sit in the field. But most of us, we see so today, this. So today, Lakshmi Devi will give you most valuable transcendental jewels. Today, Lakshmi Devi will give you the most valuable драгоценными трансценденными сокровищами. Но после, после. So take out your dips now, and we'll offer dips here. Then we'll sit outside underneath the banyan tree, and hear the glories of this place. Сокровища вы получите после того, как вы сейчас поедете до Мадарашта. Подоставайте петельки, и мы будем предлагать их и петь до Мадарашта. А потом мы переместимся на улицу, и там будет харикатха. Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tad Bhaktaya Namo Namo Ananda Lila Maya Vikrahaya Dima Vadibhyas Chave Sundaraya Tasmai Mahaprema Rasa Pradaya Chaitanya Chandraya Namo Namaste Chaitanya Chandraya Namo Namaste Chaitanya Chandraya Namo Namaste Sham Sundarsh Kandashik Svaha Samurali Manohara Radhika Raskama Makkapanditi Sukhya Chana King Karim Kuru Tavai Vasmi Tavai Vasmi Shukadev Goswami is came with his disciples Tavai Vasmi Tavai Vasmi Nadivami Tayavana Tivikaya Devi Tam Nayama by the causes mercy of Sri Guru and Goranga, 
Now we have come to this supremely pure, transcendental, holy place within the forest of Belvan, which is loud with the singing of so many parrots. This is the Tapasya Stali of Baha Lakshmi Devi. You can see so many beautiful green parrots here. See, Krishna has two main parrots, Daksha and Vichakshana. And Radhika has two main parrots. Shubha and Manjuba Sini. And each of these parrots have more than a hundred disciples. So in Braja, there's no email. <laughs> if you want to copy many people, you just have to tell Daksha and Vichakshana and they'll tell their disciples. Then in one click, all the disciples will go everywhere in Braj and deliver the message at the same time. So the parrots are very favorable in Radha Krishna's Leela. Chandravali also has her groups of parrots. <laughs> So then the different groups of parrots of the different groups of gopis also engage in misinformation campaigns. <laughs> if Krishna is meeting with some gopi then the parrots from the anti-party will come and say your mother-in-law is coming just now. <laughs> Try to break it up. So what is the history of Mahalakshmi Devi here? It was taught by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. Once Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was traveling in South India and he came to Sri Rangam. He took bath in the Kaveri river and then he went and danced in ecstasy before Lord Rangana. At that time one great Vaishnava in the Sri Sampradaya, the Sampradaya of Lakshmi Devi named Vyankatabhata invited Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh, now it is Chaturmasya, Sanyasi should not travel for four months, so please stay in my home for four months. So Venkata Bhatta, he had two brothers, Tirumala Bhatta, and the other one, Srila Prabodhananda and the Sarasvati Thakur, we went to his place yesterday. <laughs> and he, and he had a son, a small boy named Gopal. So from the very beginning of his day, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave mercy to him. He used to carry Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's kamandalu and the fresh copin when he went to bathe in the Kaveri and then give him the fresh cloth afterwards. So very, very quick and easily Chaitanya Mahaprabhu inspired love for Radha Krishna in that boy and when he grew up he became Srila Gopal Bhatta Goswami.
But Venkata Bhatta was an older person and he had been worshipping Lachman Raya in his whole life. So he was a bigger challenge because it's very hard to change someone when they become old and fixed in their ways. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu just made friendship with him and over the months, as the months were going by, they got closer and closer in the friendship that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu thought that it would not be inappropriate to cut some jokes with this very old and senior Vaishnava. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Oh Bhattaji, it is well known that Lakshmi Devi is Pat Patibrata Shiramani, the crystal of all chaste ladies. So I want to know why is it that she gave up Lord Narayan and came to Vrindavan because she wanted to associate with Sri Krishna. When Gautabhata said, where is it written in Shastra? Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, oh, in Srimad Bhagavatam, the king of scriptures. Kasyana Bhavosya na Deva Vidmahe Tavangare Nums Parasharikara Yad Vanchaya Sri Lanana Chattapo Vihaya Kamam Suchiram Grida Abrataha Lakshmi Devi has left Vaikuntha and is doing austerities to get Sri Krishna's foot dust. So Venkata Bhatta said, oh, this is not a fault of Lakshmi Devi. Because Shastra says, Siddhanta Tvasta Bede P. Srisa Krishna Surupaya Rasanut Krishna Dei Krishna Rupa Mesha Rasastiti. That Krishna and Lord Narayan, from the perspective of Tattva, Tattva Siddhanta, they are the same. Only from the perspective of Rasa, we can say that Krishna experiences more rasa. So when when the battle thought. Narayan is too Bhagavan Swayam. <laughs> he thought Lord Narayan was supreme truth and Krishna was one of his many Vilas Vigras, pastime forms. He said, if there's a woman, she loves her husband. But her husband is in a drama in the theatre and playing the role of another man. <laughs> and then she sees him in this heroic role in the drama and she becomes more attracted. <laughs> then is there any fault in her? Is there any transgression in her chastity? No, not at all. So it's okay. Chaitanya Mahabharat, Achha. I have one more question. If Krishna and Narayan, they are the same, why is it that Lakshmi Devi could not enter into the Rasalila. <laughs> oh, where is it written? Srimad Bhagavad. Nayam Sri Anga Unatanta Rate Prasada Swa Yoshitam Nalina Ganda Rucham Kutanya Rasut Savasa Buja Danda Grihita Kanta Labdashi Saya Udagad Prajapalla Bhinam. Sri Udav has said, 
that the mercy that Krishna gave to the Braja Gopis in the Raslila was never given to Lachvi Devi. Actually, the root cause of this situation was one troublemaker. <coughs> Perhaps you know his name. <laughs> <laughs> In the transcendental world, there's one person who stirs up the controversy everywhere he goes. Scandalista. Yes, Scandalista. <laughs> that is Sri Narada Muni. Because one day, Narada Muni was playing on his veena. And then he began to describe the Rasa Leela of Sri Krishna. <laughs> How? In the full moon night, in the mm, secluded forest of Vrindavan, Sri Krishna plays his flute and calls Radhika and all Braj Gopis and dances with them in the moonlight on the bank of the Jamuna River. He, hearing this, Lakshmi Devi was enthralled. <laughs> she looked at her husband Narayan, she thought, he never plays a flute for me. <laughs> he never dances with me in the moonlight in the forest. <laughs> He's just with his opulence. All the rishis glorifying him. <laughs> I don't even know if he can dance. <laughs> I have never seen. <laughs> and the next moment, Lakshmi Devi, she could not. Mm, contain her enthusiasm and she disappeared from Vaikuntha. <laughs> so she came here and she was doing tapasya to please see Krishna that Krishna will allow her to come to the Rasa Leela. After a long time, see Krishna came there. He said, I'll give you a benediction, what do you want? She said, I want to enter the Rasa Leela. Sikha said, mm -hmm. <laughs> It's possible, but there are three conditions. One, you have to give the, up this Brahmani form. You cannot have the form like the queen of Vaikuntha. You have to take the form of a simple village girl, a gopi, cowherd maiden. She said, yes, yes, anything, I'll do it. <laughs> Oh, not Krishna said second thing. Not only the form. You have to live like a simple coward girl. You have to milk cows. You have to churn yogurt, sweating. You have to make the cow dung patties. Mm. Lakshmi Devi was thinking, I am the queen of Vaikuntha, I have to make the cow dung patties. <laughs> this is a very messy business. <laughs> then she thought, oh, all right, I can do it, I'll do it. <laughs> Then Sri Krishna said, then the third condition, you have to marry someone else and live in their home. And you can only meet with me 
in secret, hi hiding from everyone. You can only secretly meet with me and you have to secretly run back and pretend that you have no relationship with me. This is Parakya Rasa. See, Lakshmi Devi is hot. How can I marry someone else? It's not possible. Why is it not possible for her? Because brain develops in stages. Brain, Sneha, Man, Pranaya, Rag, Anurag, Bhav, Mahabhav, Rudabhav, Adi Rudabhav, Modan, Mohanan, Madanakya Mahabhav, highest love of Radhika. So, we cannot say that the gopis have consciously transgressed all dharma. But they have Ruddha Mahabhav. And Ruddha Mahabhav has such a symptom, Mohan Bhavepi Sarva Vishmati. It means if you faint, you forget everything. But when this frame, Ruddha Mahabhav comes, even when you don't fight, even if you're awake, the love obliterates your memory of everything, you cannot even remember your own name. So when Sri Krishna played his flute on the full moon night of the Sharad season, the Prem of Gopis came in the stage of Ruddha Mahabhav and they just ran. Hmm? The flute stole their heart and they ran after their hearts to try to catch them. They didn't know anything, who is husband's mother-in-law, anything. Only Krishna, Krishna, I have to serve Krishna. Because Krishna was playing in such a pathetic raga, such a pathetic melody, expressing his heart. And gopis heard it and the message was saying, Oh gopis, I am feeling such separation from you. If you don't come to me today, I may die. <laughs> so the frame of gopis is such they have no consideration for themselves or society only for Sri Krishna's happiness. So, but Lakshmi Devi has no such love. So when Krishna said, you have to marry someone else, too, how can I do it? Then Krishna gave a benediction. He said, all right, you can come with me as Swarna Reka, as a golden line on my left side of my chest. So she can, she is Vakshavilasini, she can stay on the chest of Krishna. But because at that time she is not manifesting uh, form as a Naika, as a heroine, so she cannot relish the rasa as the gopis are relishing. So when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Venkatabhata, Look, Srimad Bhagavatam says, Nayam Sriyanga Unatantara Te Prasada. Lakshmi Devi did not get the mercy of Rasalila. Why is that, Bhattaji? Then, by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Bhattaji began to realize that this sannyasi is speaking to me. 
is Sri Krishna himself. So when Kartabhattaji Maharaj he said, only you know the mystery of your own pastimes. <laughs> so please explain to me. <laughs> then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu quoted a verse from 10th canto chapter 87 of Srimad Bhagavatam that is called Sruti Stuti. <laughs> The prayers of the Vedas personified. The Vedas personified prayed to see Krishna. Oh, yogis do hard austerities to control their mind, to control their pran and control their indriya, their senses. And if they are successful, then they attain sayuja mukti, impersonal liberation. But after doing that hard sadhana for hundreds of years, many lifetimes, they get the same result that demons get just by hating Krishna. So if you can get such a high result easily by hating Krishna, what kind of love will you, what type of result will you get by loving Krishna? So the Vedas said, so we don't want to have anything to do with this yoga sadhana. Then what sadhana will you do? We will follow the moods of Braj Gopis. Who are always meditating on the long and strong snake-like arms of Krishna. Hmm? Actually, no one wants to be embraced by a python. If you're walking in the forest and a python is hiding in the branch, then he may drop down and grab you. <laughs> and then you'll fight and fight, but you cannot win. He'll... So gopis think Krishna's arms are like that. They say, I am going to the Jamuna to bring some water. They are hoping that when they are walking through the forest, one black snake will jump out and grab. <laughs> and even though this gives them great happiness, but they'll fight, they'll resist and say, Maas Prisha, Ma Maas Prisha. Don't touch me. <laughs> Ma Maas Prisha means don't, don't touch me. <laughs> so the Vedas said we will meditate like this, like Braj Gopis. And by doing this, we have attained bodies like a Braj Gopis and relish the nectar of Sri Krishna's lotus feet. Hmm? So Uttari Ayakoti Kunkumankita Akutapritam Asanam Atma Bandave Shukareva Swami said in the Rasalila, when Krishna reappeared, some gopis took their anchals and put them down on the ground and made an asan for Krishna. Those gopis were the Vedas personified from the previous day of Lord Brahma. And they'd become gopis in the Rasalila.
и девушки сказали, что им надо поговорить с ним. И тогда в пастере служанки кофе они стали расстилать свои шали на землю, чтобы сделать асфальт кофейщики. И вот говорится в комментариях, что от этих служанки были эти лицеборенные кофе, которые достигли совершенства своей практикой. Dharmam to Sakshat Bhagavatam Pranitam. The Vedas are coming out from the breathing of the Supreme Lord. <coughs> so all the time he's breathing and more Vedas are coming. And every day of Lord Brahma, the Vedas see the Raslins. Like, I want to be like that. Then, then they do Raganuga Bhakti following the gopis and in the next day of Lord Brahma those Vedas become gopis and the new Vedas that come from the breathing they see those gopis <laughs> and I want to be like that and it's going on forever. So don't worry about thinking what is the purpose of the Vedas. The Vedas themselves, they want to become gopis. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said to Venkatabhata, look, Lakshmi Devi didn't enter the Raslila, but the Vedas did enter the Raslila. Why? Because unless one will follow Raganuga Bhakti and outwardly follow our Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami and inwardly by Siddha Rup follow the gopis of Vrindavan without being the Anugatya internally of the gopis of Vrindavan, then no one can attain the Rasalila. You, you, even if you are Lord Brahma, even if you are Shiva, even if you are Lakshmi, even if you are Uddhav, without Anugatya, outwardly following the Acharyas and inwardly following their internal moods in the Siddha Rup, you cannot attain this confidential wrestling. On the other hand, if you have no qualification, if you are stupid, if you are poor, if you are ugly, if you are sick, whatever, but you are under the guidance of Gurudev and the Acharyas and inwardly following their moods, then you can attain the Raslila. This is the only qualification, Anugatya Mai Bhakti. So, the Lakshmi Devi has many forms. And they are primarily three. One is called Chanchala Lakshmi. Hmm? Chancha, that means restless Lakshmi. That is wealth. Wealth comes to one pious person's house for some time and when their party is finished, she leaves them and goes to someone else's house. So Chancha Lakshmi is Mm, Lady Luck, she's famous for being fickle. <laughs> the word lucky comes from Lakshmi. <laughs> so actually, she is not the uh, consort of Lord Narayan. She is one form of Maya. 
Но это вообще не является супругой Кима Гошка Дандарайна. Она просто проявление Майи. Материал wealth is one form of Maya. Because you'll be so much thinking about your wealth that you have no time to chant Hare Krishna. Then the next form of Lakshmi is called Swarup Bhut Anga. The Lakshmi Devi who is living on the chest of Krishna is the Swanareka, part of his Swarup, Swarup Bhut Lakshmi. <laughs> so Radharani herself has uh, spoken kata about that Swarup Bhut Lakshmi. Priya Saka Puna Aga, Priya Sa Prasita Kin, Vayaraki Manurunde, Manani Osi Menga. Nayasi Katami Hasman, Justa Jatung the Paswam, Satatam Urasi Somya, Sri Vadur Sakamaste, Sri Vadu Sakamaste. What happened? Krishna was in Mathura. And Radharani, in madness of love, was speaking with one bumblebee who she thought was Krishna's messenger. So Radharani, in Pranayako, loving anger, she was criticizing Krishna in so many ways to that bumblebee. <laughs> then that bumblebee flew away. Then Radharani became afraid. Oh, I didn't mean these things. Now the bumblebee will go and tell all these words to Krishna and he'll be very upset with me. There's so many bumblebees in Vrindavan, so then she heard a sound. And she thought that that bumblebee had been to Mathura, met with Krishna, told him everything. But Krishna was very merciful and understanding. He said, oh, she's upset. Don't worry. Go back and talk to her again. <laughs> So when the when the bumblebee came the first time, Radharani said, Madhupa Kittava Bando, you friend of a cheetah, don't touch my feet. But now this time he came back. Priya Sakapuna are oh my dear friend, you have returned. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> What can I do for you? You can ask for me a benediction. Then Radhani, she thought, why did you come back? Nayasi Katami Hasman, did you come back to take me to Krishna? And then Radhani became excited, yes, let's go. But then she thought, oh no, I cannot go. Because what will happen if I arrive there in Mathura and Krishna is with his new girlfriends? <laughs> and they are from very high class royal families. I am the, from the dairy farm. Hmm? So then the bumblebee said, Oh my Swami, Krishna is alone and crying and only thinking of you is not with anyone else. Then Radharani said, Naiti Katami Hasman Dust Jad Dwanva Parshvam. I know Krishna, he cannot give up this Dwanva. Uh, he cannot give up this activity of being in a loving couple with someone. So don't tell me that he's alone. Hmm? So then Bhamavi said, Oh my Swamini. 
For sure, Krishna does not even go out, he's alone in his room. Radhika said, oh Bumblebee, you're so naive. Satatamu Rasi Somya Sri Vadu Sakamaste. If another woman is there, then Lakshmi Devi is very shy and she stays as a lion on his chest. But when no one's around, she comes out in her naika form and Krishna enjoys with her. So that's the second type, Swaru, Bhut, Lakshmi Devi. Then the third type, Mahalakshmi, who is here. Don't think that Lord Narayan is now like a, a divorcee. <laughs> because <laughs> Lakshmi Devi can expand in many forms. So in one form she left Lord Narayan, in another form she's still there. This is transcendental. But, though she is not qualified to be like Braj Gopis, but Shimati Radhika and Braj Gopis, they glorify Lakshmi Devi as being the great example of devotion. In the Rasalila, when Sri Krishna told the Brajagopis, Oh, did you come here to see me? Now you've seen me? Go home. And serve your husbands, am I am, without duplicity. So Krishna spoke ten verses telling gopis to go home. And they were in Anustup Chanda. That means 32 syllables per verse. So gopis cut all the arguments of Krishna with 11 verses. In Vasanti Lakchanta, there is 56 syllables per verse. So one gopi said, Sri Yat Padam Bujaraja Chakame Tulasya Labdwa Pivaksha Sipadam Kila Bridja Jushtam Yasya Swavikshana Mutanya Samasya Su 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 Yasya Swavikshana Suranya Priyasa Stab Tadvang Vayam Cha the meaning is, gopis are expressing the true nature of Prem. That where there is love, then the union of the new and heroine is not so important, it's a small thing. Where there is lust, the union is everything. Where there is lust, the union is everything. But where there is love, it is very insignificant. And gopis are giving an example of Lakshmi Devi. Sri Yapadambuja Rajas Chakamei Tulasya Lakshmi Devi has her place on the chest of Lord Narayan. But out of love, 
she is ready to accept three difficulties. She is the she is the only person, she has that unique position, no one else can be on the chest of Lord Narayan. But one, she gives up her unique position. Can you give up a unique position? Two, she accepts a lower position. She is very eager to just massage the lotus feet of Lord Narayan. It is plain love that makes this reversal. It is plain. And then the third thing is that at the lotus feet of Lord Narayan, there are so many other devotees like Laksh like Tulsi and Saraswati and the four Kumaras and all different types of devotees of Vaikuntha are there at the feet of the Lord. So this is a crowd, it's a crowd there. She's just one in the crowd. But still she desires that position to serve his lotus feet. Because the happiness is not in the Sangam. The happiness is in Seva. So Radhika herself said, oh, I want to be like Lakshmi Devi. Yasya Svavikshina Utanya Sura Prayasas Tadgam Bayamcha Tavapada Raja Prapanna. Oh Krishna, Gargacharya said you have the qualities like Lord Narayan. Lord Narayan accepts Lakshmi Devi on his chest, but you won't even accept us at your feet. So if really you have qualities like Lord Narayan, you should accept us. We have not come to you for, for our happiness. Only for your happiness. So then Radharani told the story. She says, I want to be like the Kost Vipraramani. That means the wife of the Brahman who had leprosy. Once there was an old Brahmana who was suffering from leprosy. His wife carried him to the river and was bathing him in the river. Then when they came out of the river, she saw that her husband's face was very sad. She said, my dear husband, please tell me what's wrong. But he was shy. She said, oh, I am half of your body. You should open your heart and tell me. So he said, when we were bathing in the river, I saw in the distance one very, very beautiful prostitute was bathing there and some desire came, I want to meet with her. So then his wife thought, oh, I should fulfill this desire of my husband because if he dies with this desire, then you have to take both again. So better to get it, be done with this desire and then in the end be liberated. So 
So she said, my dear husband, don't be sad, I'll manage everything. So she went to the uh, house, the parlor of that uh, courtesan. And she said, uh, can you uh, meet with my husband? It was unusual request. She said, yes, why not? Uh, but there's just one thing, he has leprosy. Then the courtesan, she thought for some time. She said, all right, but there are two conditions. One, you have to bring him in the dead of night. Because if anyone sees him coming in the day, it will not be good for my business. And secondly, you have to pay double price. She said, I, I cannot afford it. But I can become your maidservant and I'll serve in your house and you keep my wages and when the wages equals the costs of this uh, uh, liaison, then I'll bring my husband. If you want to realize Krishna praying, listen very carefully. So then she served that courtesan for some months. And then uh, one night she was bringing her husband, carrying her husband through the forest. She was carrying him on her shoulder and his feet were hanging down and in the dark she didn't see, just like when we came through the forest, did you see when Rishi was meditating there? And the leprotic feet of her husband were swinging and hit the <laughs> Rishi in the face. <laughs> And he looked and he saw one foot with leprosy and said, ah, or you will die. I curse you to die when the sun rises in the morning. So then, his chaste wife said, if I am chaste, then I make a vow that the sun will not rise in the morning. So when the time came for the night to be over, the night was not over and the night was going on 12 hours, 24 hours, 48 hours, there was no day. All the demigods prayed to Lord uh, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. And they came there, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva appeared before that chaste lady. They said, you should retract your words because the, universe, the system of the universe is being spoiled. She said, no. She said, look. You should retract your words and then the sun will rise and will bring your husband back to life. So then she said, all right, let the sun rise. And the sun rose in the sky. And the husband died. Then Lord Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva sprinkled water on him. And then he came back to life, but he was 
completely healthy, no leprosy, and with a pure mind, a pure heart, no sanskar of lust at all. So he did not have any desire to go to that courtesan at all. He was very pure-hearted now. So Radharani said to her sakis, Oh, this is real love. You see, there are two things, Rati and Mati. Rati means love. And Mati means thoughtfulness. So all the people in this world, they look at someone and thus they have Mati, they think, how is this person? And they measure and calculate. They do cost-benefit analysis of if it will be profitable to love this person or not. So first Mati and then Rati, but this Rati is not very deep. But love does not measure. Love just first Rati, just love first. Afterwards you can think. So Radhika is like that. Radhika padaratam pinashtumam adarshanam mahatam korotuva yathatatava vidadatu lampato matrana natastu saneva napara Oh, see Krishna may break my heart by disappearing. He can meet with another gopi even in front of me. Whatever he does, I accept. Whatever Krishna does, he is my pranas. No conditions. Why? Because Radha and Krishna have pranay. Pranay is that love which is imbued with Vishwas, confidence. You will never leave me. And you will always love me. And I will never leave you and I will always love you. This Vishwas. So when Krishna told the wives of the Yagi Brahmanas to go home, they went home. But when Krishna told the gopis to go home, they had the Vishwas. You can never send us home. You can never reject us. You love us. So we must stay. So the moral of this story of the Brahmani lady is that where there is love, one never judges or what my beloved is doing, is it right or wrong? That he's doing it is enough, I accept. He loves me. Even if he's telling me to go home. He is chosen to express his love in that way. So I can never go against So in this way, Shimati Radhika herself, she has, though Lakshmi Devi is not qualified to be like gopis, but gopis in their brain, they look up to the great qualities of Lakshmi Devi. Но зато Готы всегда восхищаются ей, молятся ей.
You can see, even now, thousands of years later, Lakshmi Devi is still praying to enter the Rasalila. So from her, pray to her that she will give you some of her determination. And the other jewel to take from here is that even someone so qualified like Lakshmi Devi cannot enter in the Ras Lila, one must be in Anugatya Mai Bhakti, in Raganuga Bhakti. So keeping this keeping these jewels of Utkanta, eagerness in one pocket and Anugatya in another pocket and take these jewels home with you and your bhajan will be successful. Sakrovishya Anugati, Drugai Karman, and we return home. Mahalakshmi Devi Ki Jai, Hare Vandar Kavaki Jai, Hare Vandar Kavaki Jai.